Hi guys, welcome back to Reading the Word and Understanding the Bible Verse. Today I am reading Revelations chapter 21 and there's a couple things in Revelations that in this chapter I want to describe and this is the New Jerusalem. This is the title of it. And so this is verse 5. Um, never, he's still talking to John um, during this time and it says he who was sailed on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Okay, so when he says write these words down, these are trustworthy and true. And that is the Bible because Jesus said that the, his, the words will never die. Heaven and earth will pass away, right? But his words will never die. That's having faith in the Bible. That's reading it, growing it. There's a reason why Satan attacks us. Why to not read the Bible. Why it's hard to read the Bible 360 days, a full entire year. Why is it hard for us to read it? Because we're living in a world where Satan doesn't want us to grow closer to God. And I give you guys a challenge to spend time with Jesus. Build your relationship up with Him. Especially if you're a born again believer. That's the best thing you could do is build your faith on Him. Because we're all going to go through struggles, we're all going to go through good times in life and bad things in life. But it's who you lean on to. Do you lean on to other people who can't, who could give you maybe advice, but they, they can't help you? The only person I know who I could, who I could help, rely on help on and rely on encouragement and rely on love that I can't explain because it just it's a love that he loves me so much even more is Jesus Christ the love that he has for us is so much more stronger than we have the love for him because he gives us the blessings to walk with him when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior you should want to read the Bible more you should want the encouragement to understand what what the Bible is and to understand that the beauty of the Lord is will. He's all around us. He opens up your eyes. And that's the beauty of walking with Jesus Christ is that He's here on earth. It doesn't mean that Jesus rose from the grave and we don't get a film again. No, the people who accept Jesus Christ as a person of Lord and Savior, filled with the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit is God's presence. It's God's love here on this earth. That's how He shows us love. That's how He showed the disciples go spread around the world the beauty and love of Jesus Christ. And that's what He did. That's what the that's what the disciples did. They went and spread the kingdom of God and it's beautiful to understand that we have a living book no matter how hard life gets you always can open up the Bible and no, ha no matter what difficult or what situation you are that you could tr truthfully trust on reading the Bible and trust in Jesus words that they are true that there is going to be a new Jerusalem. There is going to be a new earth, a, a new heaven, somewhere where we get to walk with Jesus Christ. We don't see him with our naked eyes now, but there is going to be a day when the graves are all open and you either have two places to go, either Burning in the lake of burning in the lake of fire, which is hell, or going to heaven 
and living in eternity with Jesus. Those are the two options. And Satan's here on this earth and he'll give you any distraction, especially a boring and Christian, not to build your relationship with the Lord daily. So I pray that this helps you guys today realize that what you need and what you need to lean on more is lean on Jesus. Lean on His Word and His trust. So I pray that that helps you guys. Pray that you guys have a good day, a blessed day. Love you guys and God bless. <laughs>